The TOR missile system, also known as the SA-4 gauntlet system, is a short-range surface-to-air missile system designed for destroying airplanes, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, missiles, and more. There have been many defense systems designed for numerous countries' protection, but none are more feared than the Soviet-era system. Let's take a look at why this is such a feared air defense system. It was developed as a successor to the SA-8 Gecko starting in 1975 and officially entered service in 1986. With the primary goal to shoot down air-launched cruise missiles, the Tory has been compared to systems like the British Rapier missile and French Crotail missile systems in function and operation, but is a far more efficient mile and self-propelled system. It is equipped with nuclear, biological, and chemical protection. As a fully mobile system, the TOR is capable of acquiring and tracking targets while the TLAR, a transporter launcher and radar unit, is moving. Requiring only one driver and three operators, this 9A330 combat vehicle was designed to shoot down guided weapons like the AGM-86, ALCM, and BGM-34 day and night in bad weather and jamming situations. The 9M330 missiles used in the TOR system can maneuver at up to 30G, also known as G-Force, and engage targets flying at up to 2,500 km per hour using command guidance and radar control proximity fuses. The rocket, a 3 meter long missile, was developed for the interception of small, aggressively maneuvering targets. Hence, it is such a feared monster of the grounded air defense system. It has also been used by numerous countries in numerous wars, such as the Russo-Georgian War, the Syrian War, and most recently, the Russian-Ukrainian War. Current operators of the system include China, Iran, Russia, Azerbaijan, and many more countries. Though the system has received many updates and modifications since it first began service, the body of the tank and its gun system is still the same. Its current model, the Tor E2, is now the most feared grounded air defense system due to its many updates and fixes to the original system including a major restriction, an intermittent hull when firing, which has now been fixed. 